<laughs> so guys, Alex White here, joining Sasha Cobra on the couch. I work with a lot of men that come to me with erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. I have never in my life to this day met a man with erectile dysfunction. What I have met is men that have difficulties feeling their penis. So what, they take pills, they are in desperate situations of not knowing what's happening to why their penis is not responding, but when you get them to feel, their body responds. Mm -hmm. So this epidemic of erectile dysfunctionality in the male population really is coming out of a lack of feeling. Mm -hmm. So what is porn doing? It is programming you to be aroused through your mind. Mm -hmm. Your mind eventually will get tired of the same stimuli. And it says, been there, done that, I've seen it before, yep. and it stops responding. So before I used to get men with erectile dysfunction that came to me in their 50s, then in their 40s. Now I get men 20, 21 years old that come to me and say, I have erectile dysfunction. Wow. Because they started with porn when they were nine. Yeah. And so at a certain point, by the time you get to age 20, your mind has seen so many images, it is bored with those images. The body's no longer responding, so you have to get them back to feeling. Yep. So it's not about porn being right or wrong, it's about the fact that if somebody wants to have a really high quality sex, high quality sex happens through an energetic connection. For you to have energy in your body, for you to have energy in your penis, you have to be there energetically. You have to have your awareness there. But when we watch porn, where is your awareness? Mm. It's in what you're seeing. It's in the screen or in your mind's eye because you're still watching porn up here even with your eyes closed. Yeah, and for younger men, locking the door and hoping no one comes in or isolating yourself as well. The mind's, the mind's also, I'm in this environment. The mind is everywhere but mm. here. And so this is how... Even if a person's body responds, they get to a certain age, they're completely unfulfilled with their sexual interactions yeah. and connections because there's no energy in them. Yeah. So it's not about porn being right or wrong. It's about do you want to feel high-intensity pleasure in sex? Do you want to really use sex for so much more than even pleasure, for healing, for raising your awareness, to really use it as a powerhouse of medicine? Mm -hmm. Or do you just want to rub yourself off and ejaculate yeah masturbate you know? inside someone else that is yeah. your decision <laughs> absolutely but but that's basically what you're working with yeah and look one of the greatest decisions for me three three years ago pretty much uh yeah pretty much to the month was just finishing all porn just deleting burning rubbishing anything <laughs> that was physical you had yourself a ritual burning burning it all <laughs> well actually I, I came out of Vipassana and for some reason sort of the objectification of women was just slapped over my head for 10 days as Vipassana tends to do and just came home and without question and, and it was a permanent shift for whatever reason um, but it means that I can be with a woman or look at a tree or look at an animal and feel some pleasure in my body that isn't so disconnected uh, anymore. So it was certainly a fantastic move and um, one I recommend to, to all women I look at. That being said, you're not saying that porn is bad. You're just simply pointing to the, to the mechanics, to the, the exactly. pattern that does occur. You can use porn consciously if you really wish to. I have heard that. I disagree. Mm. Good, because I actually was voicing that and not... I, I conceptually get that, but I, I don't go back to porn because I feel of... If you're actually feeling the, the person on the other end of that screen, then uh, I don't think you would be in a pleasureful state. You'd be uh, feeling pity or mourning for that person. And... Even if you were, let's say you found the most beautiful video of two people connecting really, really beautifully, yep. and you use that in a conscious way, you're still programming your mind to have the stimulation rather than your body. Yep. And then it's difficult for you to actually connect with your body. Yeah. So it, it doesn't matter what you're looking at. I do not recommend mental stimulation as a way to consciously grow yourself in a, to be a sexually empowered person. That's cool. not... I think it's good to bring it up to that level because there is going to be so many things thrown us in the next decade. We're going to have um, virtual reality porn headsets. We're going to have haptic uh, sensors on our bodies. And the things that they already have yeah. with 
sex dolls, mm. you know, all the stuff. It's we are living in a culture that is more technologically connected and the most socially disconnected mm -hmm. as ever. Mm -hmm. It's creating a lot of disharmony on the planet and a lot of disempowerment on the planet. Because like I said, sex, energetic sex, is used for a lot more than pleasure. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it is the most powerful tool that I'm aware of to bring somebody into their full power. Mm -hmm. As me connecting to my own spirit. Now, what would it look like if everybody was connected fully to the power, the divinity of their own spirit? You're not going to have the society as it is structured now. The society as it is now is created to enslave people. You cannot have empowered divine beings be enslaved on the planet. Mm -hmm. The only way you can do that is by disempowering them. And taking their sex away from them is the easiest way to do that. Yep, feel that one for a moment because, <laughs> yeah, and it is really that simple. That is what's going on at the moment. Um, yeah, sit with that for a second. Um. Well, let's move it. Let's do it. It's all over.